Today we're going to be taking a look at the best custom fit vehicle wiring harnesses available for the 2010 to 2016 Buick LaCrosse. Now today we're going to be looking at two different wiring harnesses. We've got one from Kurt, then we have one from Takancha. Both of them are going to do a really good job. I think longevity, the Takancha takes a slight edge there. As far as power output, the Kurt takes a slight edge there. But overall they're both going to give you a good working four pole in the back of your vehicle. A four pole connector looks just like this, it's going to be a four flat. This is going to give us our running light signal, left turn and brake, right turn and brake, and also our ground. You can see the Kurt has a little dust cover that attaches around. That can be removed if you choose. The Takancha is a little bit different, it stays permanently attached. I kind of like that, we don't have to worry about losing it, but it's not that big of a difference one way or the other. Now both of these wiring harnesses are going to use a module type box. So we're going to run power to it. We're going to run ground to it. It's going to be the same on both. And that's going to be a standalone powered system. So we're not going to be drawing excess power through our vehicle's wiring system. Then we've got our T connectors. These are going to plug in line directly between our factory tail light and our wiring harness. That allows us to get the signal as it comes through. That's then transferred in our box to a working signal for our trailer. Another nice thing about the module is that it's going to separate your vehicle from your trailer. Trailers oftentimes have shorts. We don't want that to get into the vehicle's electrical system. So this creates that, that break. So we don't have to worry about that being transferred in. Now in both the wiring harnesses, we're going to be running that 12 volt power wire using the supplied bulk wire up to our positive side of our battery. Both of them are going to have fuse holders and fuses to put in line so we don't have to worry about any overloads or anything like that. Now both of our wiring harnesses have slightly different outputs. I don't think it's going to matter too much being on the back of a lacrosse. We're not going to have huge trailers with a bunch of lights on them, but your Kurt is going to give you three amps per turn and brake signal, so three amps on the left, three amps on the right, and it gives us six amps total for our tail lights. With the Takancha, we're looking at 2.1 amps for each side turn and brake and 5.6 amps for the running lights. And again, that should be more than enough to cover just about everything out there. As far as installation, both of them are going to be identical. There's not one that's easier to install than the other. And as far as longevity or life, while they are both very, very similar, the one difference we tend to see the adhesive tape that we use to mount the Kurt module box sometimes separates. We don't get that with the Takancha module box. And if these start bouncing around or if they get beat up, even though they are potted and we shouldn't have any issues, sometimes when this Kurt one starts moving around and bouncing around, we get a failure out of it. And again, that's only going to be if that double sided tape doesn't stick. That's going to complete our look at the best vehicle wiring harnesses for the 2010 to 2016 Buick LaCrosse.